Rail Maze Pro is one of my new favorite games. It allows you to become the conductor of a railroad, but you have to lay track as the railroad is being operated. So you can select a level or continue where you left off. Some people have complained about this jumping, but I personally don't mind. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Um, so of course you can post all of your game scores everywhere, find out new games and other stuff. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do the, uh, I'm not going to do the tutorial, but I'm going to do a simple one just to show you how it works. So you're going to start with this and you're going to, the car is going to, the train is going to come out here and you have to get here. But as you can see, there are sections in the track where you have to manipulate how the train goes. So you want to assemble the track as quickly as possible because your timer immediately starts going and you want to finish as fast as possible. So as you can see, I have created the track. And now I can move on to the next level, which gets a little more complicated. As you can see, my timer has already started, so I got to get it going. And get the train to the finish line. So, you can actually go back to the main menu at any time and select what level you want to start off on. And I'm going to show you some of the... Um, further ones. There are actually tunnels. This is a fun one. And the train goes into the tunnel and then back out. So then you want the train to come back out and to go to the finish line. Oops. You see it comes out the tunnel. Back out. Then back over. I really like this game and I am not really big about gaming on the iPad. I love this because you can dip in and out and you can play just, you know, just play a game quickly and then you're done. It's not a huge thing. So I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. Now one thing that some people have complained about to get the solutions, you gotta pay. So you can get a bunch of solutions or you can unlock everything. I highly recommend you not purchasing solutions, just work on it till you finish. So as you can see, here's one that's a little bit more convoluted. But I think this is worth the price of admission. It's a really great game and it gets your brain working. And I personally think it's a lot of fun. Zen Puzzle Garden is one of the most beautiful games I have seen in a long time. Now, what you do is you have to scratch through the sand, a Zen garden, and cover the entire surface of the sand with your little rake without overlapping anything. Now, you can pick different gardens. And then, you know, there are some I haven't gotten past. But as you can see, there are a lot of different gardens. The graphics are also really beautiful. You can pick different backgrounds. Those are just the puzzles for this background. Then there are different backgrounds. Now, you had to purchase these other ones, but I wanted to because I enjoyed the game so much. So, there are Zen quotes that come up, but these, they flash by so fast. So, as you can see... Beautiful dive down into the garden, and then there's our little guy. So what you do is you figure out, you sweep from block to block for him to walk around the edge of the garden to break the sand. Now this is an easy one because there's no obstacles. But as you go further into the game, there are things in the sand that cause him to have to, well, cause you to have to figure out how to get around it. And when he's done, puzzle is complete. So then you can move on to the next puzzle. So let's see. Here's one of the ones with an obstacle in it. Now this particular obstacle can be moved 
So he can actually move this and then continue, continue to rake to cover the area. Because when I started playing this, I remember thinking like, how the heck is he going to go around corners? But as you can see, he does it. So you can undo your movements, of course. You can undo it all and go back to the beginning. You can redo the last thing you did. You can also choose whether or not he walks like he has been doing or he runs to uh, each section. There's a help menu that allows you to ask questions. You can press the pause button, which will take you out of the garden. Of course, there's regular controls. So I just want to show you one of the other gardens because they're all beautiful. This is the nighttime one. Um, and this one, as you can see, is way more complicated. There's gardens within gardens on top of obstacles. So this one's a little bit more convoluted. But look at uh, the sides. There are little fireflies going around the plants here. There's shimmers from the door. And then there's petals falling. This game is just so graphically beautiful. That's why I didn't mind buying other um, gardens. Because I knew they'd be as gorgeous as the other one. Look at this one with the leaves falling and the rays of light. I wish I could make him walk along this little path. But as you can see, the more gardens you buy, the more complicated they get. Because this one's narrow and it's got a bunch of stuff in it. So we're going to leave the garden. And I just want to show you, oh wait, sorry. Well, it's actually not, there we go, extra levels. So the Temple Forest pack was 99 cents and it, otherwise you get the two, you get the nighttime and then you can get this one. So this is the other option, but it's only 99 cents for another garden and 20 more puzzles. I love Zen Puzzle Garden. I think it's phenomenal. It's so beautiful. There's a tutorial mode and then you can even um, join into Game Center if you want. But if you're like me and you're into spa and relaxation, this is the game for you. Nothing Better To Do Solitaire is one of the best solitaire apps that I have used since getting my iPad, and I've had a couple. This one is awesome not only for the way it works, but for the way it looks. As you can see, there's animation in the background of this one. This is the winter theme. You can change the theme. You can change how many cards are drawn out. You can draw three or one. The game style, what kind of game you're playing. I only play like regular solitaire. There's information about the stats and the rules of the game. You can change how your scores are shown, whether or not they make noise. There's tons of customization in this. There are lots of skins, different colors. You can even make a custom set of cards or a background with photos from your photo album. It's easy to change the themes and it just changes. Here's like a sun and the background changes. It goes from day to night and you can see there are stars falling. So just crazy cute. I am right now with the winter one. It's not winter here yet, thank goodness, but it will be soon. Anyway, it's just like any other game of solitaire. You move the cards over and then play solitaire. But I just love the way the cards here work. It's really smooth. And as you can see, you can deal out the cards however you want them. Like I have it going out for one at a time. But of course, as I said, you could have it go out for three to deal. I don't like that. That's not how I like to play solitaire. But you can reset the cards very easily. And they'll deal out again. You can just get a whole new deck by doing that. I also love the undo feature. So if you've done something and then you're like, wait a second, I could have moved that there, you hit the undo button and it goes right back. This is a great solitaire game. So you wanna check it out if you love solitaire. It is in the App Store. I don't mind saying that Flower Garden has kind of been the bane of my existence for the last couple of weeks. Mainly because of how often things need to be watered. But I think that's because I didn't plan my gardens out well enough. So you start with one garden and then you can purchase additional um, plants 
to work in not plants, but different gardens to add more plants. So you start out with 12 pots and they're all empty like these two. Then you can buy seeds to fill up those pots. So we'll do that now. You get a bunch of seeds, but most of them are locked like this one. See how there's padlocks on it. The more stuff you grow, the more seeds packets show up. So you can decide what seed you want. It gives you information about it and tells you how many you already have planted. I've got two planted. So yeah, I want to plant these. Oops, you got to click the pot and then it'll plant them. So then I have to water them. And then as you can see, they're popping up. And then they'll grow a little bit um, for this first time. You can always add some fertilizer, which you do get initially when you start the game. You get a bunch of fertilizer. And then as you can see, it causes them to grow a little faster. And in one day, they'll be fully grown as opposed to the regular length of time it would take. You can always click this little tag here to find out more information about it and how long it's going to take it to grow. And here is your water gauge. So that this allows you to water your plants and it's a red section, a green section, and then a yellow section for this particular plant. You can't let it go over to the yellow because that means you watered it too much and you can't let it go over into the red because that means you haven't watered it enough. So you always want your dial to be in green. You can also uh, swipe through your garden like this. So here's some that I already have that are fully bloomed and actually ready to be cut. So when you tap a flower, you can cut it. Sorry to be moving this up and down, but you can cut your flowers. You can put an individual flower in the garbage or you can put the whole pot in the garbage. So I actually have, when you cut a flower, you hit the scissors and it cuts the flower and takes it out. If you go back to the main screen, you can check your bouquet and I already have a bouquet here. You can make the bouquet bigger or smaller. You can move it around on the screen. If you shake your device, it rearranges the flowers. You can turn this and you can also send bouquet. So you can type a message on there. You can text it to somebody, email it to somebody or send it to your Facebook friends if you want. Uh, that's how the bouquets work. Now, the main thing you're doing all the time is watering the plants, which is okay. But depending on the plant, it can get a little tedious. You're constantly getting notifications that you need your plants watered. Now, of course, you can turn the notifications off, but then you have a bunch of dead plants, which is not the ideal placement. Now, if your water plant needs water, there's a little water droplet on it and you'll get a notification and they actually start to die and change colors. It's not pretty. Also, depending on the garden, also depends on how much you have to water a plant. So in this particular garden, this is a greenhouse. Plants in the greenhouse grow faster, but they also need more water. This is the main garden, outside garden, and the plants here grow at a regular rate. There's an extra garden you can buy. Here's my seed packet, sorry. I should be in the store. There's an extra garden you can buy that's a secret garden. And these plants aren't in full sun, so they don't need as much watering. You can only have one type of each garden, so you could basically only have three gardens. Once you purchase all four of these, there's four different things you can buy, and then that's it. You can buy more fertilizer doses, and color dust changes the colors of the flowers, but I don't know, I'm not that excited about that. I wish there were more seeds. I've already bought four packets. I got two more to buy. So when you buy this, you can see what the flowers are actually going to be here, but you end up having to unlock the flowers. The first three sets of seeds are unlocked for um, the common seeds. That's included. Then you get the bonus seeds sometimes after you've grown a bunch of stuff and these are all unlocked to begin with. So it depends on the flowers. Those are seeds of love, seeds of gratitude, seeds of joy. And it tells you which ones you bought already, which is always helpful. 
so here's my like area where I can pick what I want to grow and there's a bouquet and here's we are back at the garden at the very top this player is the achievements if you made the achievements you can get notifications you can have music play um, feedback on Facebook credits find more games you can also delete pots whoops or Oops, this is something new that they added. You can like move pots around if you want to. Because you couldn't do that before. You can find out news about what's going on with them. And then they started this new thing where they have like, not competitions, but you can have a challenge to make a certain kind of bouquet. And then when you do that, you get green thumb points. Green thumb points allow you to purchase things in the flower shop. That's actually how I got my last pack of seeds using green thumb points. So you can tell, oops, you can tell what, how many green thumb points you have when you're in with an individual plant. Your green thumb points show down here in the corner. So I do like this game. I think it's gorgeous and it's fun sending people flowers and cutting the flowers. I just wish there was a way for you to purchase unlimited watering or something for 99 cents. That would make me really happy. So you can check out Flower Garden in the App Store. This is a universal app so it works on your iPad and on your iPhone.